Hey, hey, hey. So naturally this video will have spoilers for Xenoblade 3. So if you don't want to be spoiled, now is your time to leave. However, during one of the cutscenes, Queen Nia's story part one to be exact, while Meli and Nia are talking to each other, we get a shot of both halves of Origin before the world collides. But if you see here on Meli's side, the Great Sword actually has a hole in it where the Annihilation event happened. And as you know, during that time, the Annihilation event hasn't happened yet because the worlds haven't even merged yet. So it looks like Monolith Soft used the wrong model for the Great Sword and just didn't catch it mid-development. So I think it's kind of funny that this version of the sword has the Annihilation event before the worlds even merged. I don't know if there's any other like oversights and cutscenes like this, but this one was kind of funny. I don't think I realized this until I was doing researching or I was recording gameplay or this cutscene for a video. It was, I don't remember which one it was, but then I noticed it and I was like, wait a goddamn minute. That shouldn't be there. But um, I don't know, it's just a nice little detail that I noticed that maybe some of y'all haven't noticed. But kind of short video today. I do have a couple new videos I'm working on. So that Bridget challenge run should be out within a couple days sometime this week. But yeah, that's really about it. So as always, thanks for watching. Have a damn good day. Stay safe. Be well. And play some goddamn Xenoblade.